All right, so now that we've got some of the basics of mindfulness down, we're going to dive straight into the fun mindfulness stuff. Feelings and emotions. A huge misconception we all have is that feelings are emotions and emotions are feelings. Even after years of talking about this stuff, I still use them interchangeably. So it's understandable that there's some confusion, which I am hoping to clear up today. Even though you'll still probably catch me mixing them up because conditioning is real, folks. I know that I've already said on here several times, sit with your feelings. When I say that, of course, I don't mean actually sitting. It's just kind of a shorthand that therapists use for reasons I have no idea of. So then what do I actually mean by that? Really what I, what I should be saying is feel your feelings. Well, okay, but how do I do that? Like pet them? Like a dog or a cat? No, of course not. Feeling your feelings means to pay attention to or feel the physical sensations in your body, aka your feelings. Feelings are physical sensations, such as tingling in our fingertips, uh, tightness in our chest, butterflies in our stomach, an ache in our head, stiffness in our neck, um, an expansion of our heart, perhaps from petting that dog or cat, um, the buzzing in our foot when it falls asleep from sitting on it for too long. Now these feelings or physical sensations can be pleasant or unpleasant, comfortable or uncomfortable. This leads us to prefer some over others and do most anything we can to avoid the ones we don't prefer. Okay, so what about those emotions? If emotions aren't feelings, then what are they? Emotions are simply labels for a collection of feelings or physical sensations, uh, a shorthand to verbally communicate to others our experience. For example, the physical sensations of uh, being out of breath, having a racing heartbeat, uh, of feeling a lump in your throat, tensing up, clenching your jaw, and feeling clammy or like the hairs are standing on end, all together indicate the emotion of fear. You are afraid. Everyone experiences fear the same way. Everyone experiences every emotion in the same way, actually. This is regardless of culture, race, ethnicity, gender, etc., etc., because our biological responses to certain stimuli are hardwired into us for survival. So why am I telling you all of this? Because being mindful of our emotions, of what's going on inside of our bodies, starts with feeling our feelings. We have to notice and be present with those physical sensations, whether pleasant or unpleasant. Because when we are, our feelings move through us rather than getting stuck, communicating important information to us so that we can navigate life much more easily and effectively. If we avoid them, push them away, or get stuck in them, that's when life becomes much more difficult. Feelings don't actually go away if we ignore them. It might seem like it for a minute, but they always come back louder and stronger over and over until we're forced to deal with them usually because they've wreaked some havoc in our lives. They've ruined relationships, caused us to lose a job, damaged our health, maybe all of the above. Um, again, if there was a zombie apocalypse and someone was trying to get away from the zombies and knocking on your door, they aren't simply going to go away because you don't answer. They're going to keep knocking louder and faster because it's really, really important that they get your attention. And while it isn't always life or death with emotions, usually that's not, 
they are trying to communicate important information to us nonetheless. So they will get louder and faster until we pay attention to them and take action based on what they're telling us. So I'm going to stop here and let this all sink in because I have a lot more to say about feelings and emotions and I don't want you to feel overwhelmed. And also my dog is trying to communicate something to me loudly, his feelings and emotions. Um, so we'll just call it a day here and please like this video, subscribe to this channel, leave some comments behind if you would like to continue to learn more about feelings and emotions.